in one hour is going to be the longest blood moon for the year, for the decade, for a thousand years, something like that. And the plan is to photograph it, but with one hour to go, it is, it is ra <laughs> it's raining, really, there's a storm suddenly come out of nowhere. So, I'm not hopeful about getting the blood moon, but if you're watching this, something, something good has come out of this evening. <laughs> anyway, the plan is, oh by the way, if you don't know where I am, I am in the lovely area, nature reserve kind of place of an uh, etherworld. Another world, a parallel universe, it's a different kind of place. I am, to cut it short, in Dungeness. Uh, side fun fact, Bill Oddy used to come here as a boy and his love for birds uh, grew here. And also, the One Show did a little piece with him and Len Goodburn on the world's smallest train which comes to here and they talked about their summers as children here. Anyway, that that's a little fun fact. Anyway, I've wandered up in between all this bad weather that's kind of like you don't know what it's going to do. And the plan is to shoot this lighthouse over here. We've got the old one here, but then the newer one here. It is about 40 meters tall. And the plan is I'm going to whack the 200 mil on, zoom in as much as possible, try and fill up that frame as much as possible so when the, I'm in, and I'm in line, I worked it out using apps and things, that when I'm in line, when the moon rises, it shall come up behind the lighthouse there. That is the plan. Just thought I'd scout it out quick. Does it work? Kind of. There's a lot of telephone lines in the way, which I forget about here. But um, it's more detailed more dependent on whether the weather clears because at this rate I'm not going to see a single thing. So I'm just looking at the... Um, it's raining again, non-stop. I'm just looking at my phone at what the... Uh, forecast says so we see here that's where we are at Dungeness and if I pop forward oh I can go forward so sunrise is about then 20 to 9 and it looks like we might just be free that gap there is where the moon's gonna be coming up from that direction so it might be good. And then I was looking at the... Uh, so that's the low cloud for about nine o'clock. But the problem is, medium, pretty much covered. And then high is just overcast. So I really, really don't know if this is gonna be successful. In fact, I'm gonna say there's a 5% chance I'm successful, but what do you know? You try. We try, don't we? Crazy thing, it's been like the most nicest weather all week up until literally two hours ago and it, this just came out of nowhere. Typical, isn't it?
so yesterday was a failure um, I didn't even get some pictures of a nice lightning storm or bad weather um, yeah but anyway it was nice to get out but today is another day that was yesterday and we've got completely different weather there's hardly any cloud about and everyone all the tourists that have been visiting Dungeness are heading home I've got about an hour before the sun goes down and I'm just kind of I'm down here a bit early because I wanted to just try another composition um, which involves an old boat over there and because there's going to be a bit more of a time difference between sunset and moonrise what I'm going to try and do is get a composition with that boat for sunset a nice bit of side light um, hopefully a bit of colour in the odd cloud and then maybe stick around and get a composition so the moon's behind the boat get that and then run over so that as the it's getting higher in the sky because then set up and shoot another one with the lighthouse as the foreground that's the idea that's the idea <sighs> see what happens Here we are. <laughs> nice bit of cloud. The sun has, I can't see it anymore. It's gone behind a bank of cloud. But we're getting some nice colour in the sky. Got a nice bit of cloud just uh, adding interest. I'm uh, zooming in about ooh, 100 mil and I'm kind of isolating the boat out there and I'm in portrait so I'm getting a big vista of sky and then a tiny bit of land with the boat just to kind of give it a bit of context and um, uh, size comparison so yeah and then I'm gonna snap away for a few shots and then in about half an hour the moon shall be rising So I'm just waiting for the, the moon to appear over the horizon and my van's over here. But what wow, look at the sky over there. That is pretty nice. So I'm going to sit in the van and wait for 10 minutes because it's windy and uh, a little bit cold. Hmm. any second I have to pump up my ISO 400 I don't really want too long of a shutter speed because I don't want much movement in the in the moon I want it as sharp as possible
don't know how well it's gone. I, some of these shots are blurry because of the wind. I misfocused on one or two because I was messing around with settings. And then it's in and out behind the cloud, but it looks like it's going to reappear. So I'm just going to readjust the crop. Probably have to go port trait. Really boosting the ISO to 2000 at the moment. It's not going to be the cleanest image. Unless that, I think, is it.